I have another video I think you need to take a look at. If you want to check it out, just go to the blog entry here on the main page at remedyguide.org and click the source. And I'm not going to play the whole video right now. It's only a minute long, minute and 19 seconds. Uh, but it's pretty intense, and it shows uh, how easily you can be tracked down. And uh, I don't know why they changed the video. It was like four minutes the other day where they actually showed a reporter being arrested well, I mean, it was just all staged, of course, just to see how well it would work. But if you're not an obedient Christian, this video is most assuredly going to frighten you in a big way. And, and the reason being is, if we are the last generation that are going to see the Mark of the Beast in force, this video shows, even this one here, the doctored one, the new one that they put up that's only a minute long, that it shows how easily some Christians that refuse the Mark of the Beast are going to be tracked down. They tracked and they captured that man on the original video in only seven minutes in that massive city in China. And this isn't even taking into consideration all the data the government has on you, you know, via your digital identity. I mean, in that video, they do use their CCTV network, but they can also use your debit, your credit, your ID cards, and a plethora of other ways to track you down as well, like your new iPhone with its face ID built right in. And don't think for a minute that both cameras on your Android cell phones are just there for your pleasure. Every picture that you now take is logged and even tagged with a GPS location in it unless you shut that feature off. We even have technology right now that alerts scanning computers in shopping centers the moment you walk in via the chip transmitting from your wallet or purse. You know, in some stores, you only need to walk in, grab an item off the shelf, and walk right out without ever using a cash register. They just automatically remove the cash from your account, kind of like that uh, free pass on the tollway where you just drive right through. I mean, for literally years already, the cops also have license plate readers and infrared technology that looks right through the walls of your home and they can tell you which room you're in. And, and don't think for a minute those red light cameras on every street corner now are just for tickets. It was recently found that every microphone on every cell phone can be turned on from any location by the U.S. government. And yeah, that's why most cell phones today have batteries that you can't remove. Even the facial recognition cameras in the banks or the malls, the schools, the public buildings, and even those police cameras on the cops' vest that you thought were there only to protect you from angry cops, all these cameras are going to be used to be able to track you down when you refuse the mark. For example, if you get pulled over by a cop, that camera is reading your face, and he can tell right off the bat whether you're a problem or not just by being alerted on his monitor in his police unit. And to top it all off, if you or a family member has a Facebook account, that act alone triples how easily you can be tracked down and arrested. Yes, there are other ways to track you down as well, everything from satellites to drones or even GPS devices that can now be legally placed on your cars without your knowledge. But I simply don't have time to itemize everything they can use in today's world. Did I share all that to scare you? No, not at all. I mean, real Christians trust our God to protect us no matter where we end up, be it in jail, a cave, or on a mountaintop. I mean, real Christians have no fear because we trust him to use us in any way he sees fit. And by the way, real Christians also have something all the lukewarm Christians or the atheists and the Muslims and others never knew about because most don't open Bibles. Did you know that more than once, Jesus Christ himself disappeared in a crowd that was seeking to kill him before the appointed time 2,000 years ago. That's right. Once in Luke chapter 4, verses 28 to 31, and another time in John chapter 8, verses 58 and 59. As we know, our Lord never does anything without a reason. And since we also know he did it all in the exact same flesh we have today as an example on what we can do as long as we have faith, more than once already in the obedient remnant church, we have seen how the Lord has protected us from certain harm in the exact same way. But none of what Jesus taught or did by example or even the promises he made in everything from protecting us to granting us discernment on where to go when running for our lives, none of this can be embraced by a single one of us unless we are first obedient to his written word. Soon the mark of the beast is going to be enforced. If you are not striving out to the perfection Christ said his bride will attain to when he returns, then you're going to be tracked down just as easily as that reporter was tracked down in China when that day comes. Thank you for watching. God bless.